Do you like adventure? Do you like to travel to different parts of the Philippines? Or do you like to have a vacation on the beautiful beaches here in the Philippines? Are you are a Filipino? Sounds good to me. Just a little introduction to the topic we are going to talk about. Capiz is one of the provinces of the Philippines situated in Panay Island bestowed with enchanting tourist spots. It may be surrounded with more prominent and renowned tourist attractions of the nearby provinces, Capiz has its own fascinating natural beauty worth visiting. Along the coasts of the province are the grey sand beaches lined up with seafood restaurants and accommodations. Further off its coasts are stunning islands best for beach hopping and scuba diving. While inland destinations includes museums, old churches, eco-parks, falls and a lot more. The province of Capiz belongs to the western Visayas region. It is bordered by Aklan, northwest, Iloilo, south, Antique, west, and Sibuyan Sea, north. More than 760,000 total residents of the province speak in Kapanan, Hiligaynon, Aklan, Filipino and English languages. From adventure trekking, beach hopping and scuba diving to visiting museums, old churches, there are plenty of places to visit and things to do in the province. Known as the seafood capital of the Philippines, savor its seafood cuisines in your travel meals. Check out the list of most visited tourist spots in Capiz below. Let's reveal the 10 best tourist spots in Capiz. Number 1. The Bebe Bay Beach. Bebe Bay Beach is one of the best tourist spots in Capiz which is a favorite weekend destination among locals and foreign travelers. The beach features a 7-kilometer-long stretch of soft black sand and calm seawater, most of the time, facing the Sibuyan Sea. It is a great spot for swimming, snorkeling and kayaking but another main reason why most people visit here are the delicious seafood dishes being served in an array of beachfront restaurants. Fascinating sunset is also best viewed here. Bebe Bay Beach is located in Roxas City, Capiz. Number 2. The Olatayan Island. Olatayan Island is a 53-hectare island in Capiz abundant in greenery surrounded by clear emerald seawaters teeming with marine life and pockets of white sand beaches. It is the best site for snorkeling, scuba diving and beach bumming with its notable white sand beaches mixed with crushed corals and seashells. It is an inhabited island yet it seems like it's in raw form since the locals are taking good care of the island. The name of the island comes from the native words, O-L-O, -O, which means head and, Tayan, which means stomach and has a popular legend behind. Olatayan Island is situated in Roxas City, Capiz. Number 3. The Mantalinga Island. Few kilometers off the coasts of Bebe Beach is another popular tourist attraction called Mantalinga Island. The Department of Tourism named it a good luck island, for it is believed to bring good fortune for the local fisherfolk. Spirits and supernatural beings are believed to be dwelling on the island which attracts more tourists. It is a great spot for scuba diving and it serves as a rotunda for sailboat and kayaking racing contests. Most visitors would just dare to ride a kayak to reach the island then back to the mainland. Mantalinga Island is located in Roxas City, Capiz. Number 4. The Polina Greenbelt Eco Park. Polina Greenbelt Eco Park is one of the known tourist spots in Capiz that offers a relaxing and satisfying river cruise. Tourists will aboard a floating restaurant which is made of a Nipa hut with tables and benches perched on a bamboo raft while being pulled by a motorboat for a river cruise down the placid Polina River. It will pass though mangroves, fish ponds and visitors may catch a glimpse of the daily living of the locals. Aside from the cruise itself, visitors may enjoy the fresh seafood meals served on the raft. Even foot spa or body massage while on board. Polina Greenbelt Eco Park is situated in Barangay Cagay, Roxas City, Capiz. Number 5. The Kadimahan River Tour. Another popular destination in Capiz that offers a relaxing river cruise is the Kadimahan River Tour. Tourists may choose to have a river cruise down the Kadimahan River or stay on a stationary floating restaurant. Similar to the services offered in Polina Greenbelt Eco Park, sumptuous seafood dishes are also being offered in the floating restaurant and additional services such as foot spa and body massage. On a river cruise, enjoy the views of mangroves and beautiful flying birds such as mangrove blue catcher, egret, tern and black wing stilt while local singers entertain you with Hiligaynon folk songs. 
Kadimahan River Tour is located in Barangay Bebe, Roxas City, Capiz. Number 6. The Suhat Cave and Spring. Suhat Cave and Spring is one of the famous tourist spots in Capiz which is a favored destination among the locals. On site are open huts facing the developed spring pool wherein the cold and natural spring are coming out from the rock on the cave. A stone throw away from the spring pool is the Suhat Cave. Not that much interesting stalactites and stalagmite formations but still worth exploring to have some adventure. A 15-minute trek from Suhat Cave and Spring is another cave called Lahab Cave. Visitors may enjoy dipping or swimming on the refreshing spring or go spelunking on the nearby caves. Suhat Cave and Spring is situated in Barangay Dolores, Dumalig, Capiz. Number 7. The Malinaman Falls. Malinaman Falls is one of the recently discovered tourist spots in Capiz. It is a scenic waterfall that cascades on a rocky riverbed down the plunge pool. The basin or the plunge pool is good for swimming for the physically fit visitors since in most occasions, the current is a bit strong. Although, most people choose to climb up at the topmost part of the falls and have some spots for waterfall massage. Climbing the rocky riverbed alone is a big challenge. The falls is inside the premises of Camp Peralto, a military camp and reservation in the town of Jaminda. For interested visitors, prior arrangements should be done through the Capiz Provincial Tourism and Cultural Affairs Office. Malinaman Falls is located in Jaminda, Capiz. Number 8. The Roxas City Plaza. The Roxas City Plaza is one of the most accessible tourist destinations in Capiz where historical and prominent landmarks and structures are located. The Roxas City Bridge is an iconic landmark in the plaza built on 1910 which crosses Panay River. The Immaculate Conception Metropolitan Cathedral has a beautiful facade that draw crowds' attention which was built on 1877. The Capiz Provincial Capital Complex built on 1915 inspired by Spanish-Filipino architecture of the 19th century. The Roxas City Bandstand which is an octagonal pavilion with neoclassical style is another prominent structure of the plaza. Roxas City Plaza is situated in Roxas City, Capiz. Number 9. Ang Panablayan Museum. Ang Panablayan Museum is a circular architecture which houses variety of cultural and historical displays about Capiz. It was built on 1910 as a water tank and later on converted into a whitewash city museum of what it is today. The displays inside the museum includes paintings, images, artifacts, tools, traditional clothes and even the car used by the late President Manuel Roxas. Paniblian is a Hiligaynon term which means guardian of the precious things. Ang Panablayan Museum is located in Roxas City, Capiz. Number 10. The Panay Church. Panay Church, also known as Santa Monica Parish Church, is the most prominent historical landmark in the province of Capiz. It is a neoclassical Baroque church built 1884 made of coral blocks. It has a fascinating facade and artistic retablos inside with carved wooden designs. Beside the church is a five-story belfry which houses the largest bell of the county made from 70 sacks of coin gold and silver given by the people of the town. The sound of the bell can be heard 8 kilometers away. Atop the belfry, visitors would notice the scenic views of the town and nearby looming mountains. Panay Church is situated in Panay, Capiz. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or something in your mind you want to share, let us know in comment below. Hope you liked the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook channel. Keep safe and have a good day.